You guys, there's a wrestling going on in the spirit. There's a um, the valley of decision that is going on uh, with your spouses. Um, and so if you're wondering what's going on, what's taking so long, don't, don't be in that mindset because there are things that you have already been bought through with the Lord and have victory over that your spouses do not. And so when God tells you to pray for them, because of the wrestling that is going on with their mind and the choices that they are faced with right now, you know, the valley of decision, should I go to the left or to the, to the right? Um, and it's basically, should I surrender completely to God? You know, it's them sur surrendering to the will of God. And we all had to go through that, um, as well. And so I want you to remember, um, and keep in mind that God wants you to pray for them. Pray for their peace, their joy, um, their love, their their self control. Um, their for, that they will forgive themselves and they uh, courage. That's what the Lord has been speaking to me as well. Courage. Pray for courage for them, um, so they can move into the will of of God's will um, for their lives. And and they're doing that. And so pray for their strength and their courage. And that they would pray that they would um, that they would rely on the direction of God and not man's direction or advice that they would hear from God and what he is speaking to their minds um, on what to do and, and not rely on man's advice. And may God in the name of Jesus for our for the pro, for the prodigals and the spouses, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that they would just surrender completely without worry, without doubt, without anxiety. I pray against anxiety and fear that that is trying to torment them because the enemy will try to torment you. As you remember, child of God, the enemy, is he tries to torment us and try to make us fear from walking into the door that God has provided for us. And so remember, keep in, in line. I saw two, 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 praise the Lord. Keep in mind in the name of Jesus, stay in line, stay in alignment with what God wants you to pray for. And also keep in memory what God has bought you from because you too had to, had to, there was a struggle. There was a fight. There was a wrestling between the flesh and the spirit. So as God has was gentle to you and he had, he was merciful to you and he has showed you grace, continue to have that same spirit when you are praying for your spouse. Don't let the silence, silence uh, make you think. Make you ah, make you think the wrong thing, make you think negatively, or make you lead, lean to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean to your own understanding and in, in, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path, but he is going to do the same. That's the prayer that you can pray for your spouses right now, right now, Jesus.